You ever see a grown man grab somebody's sword with their bare hands? I have. You ever see that same person have glasses and the next thing you know they look like Rico Suave with some gel back hair? I have. You ever seen a step in a room full of humans and everybody around them feel like they about to suffocate and die? Cause I have. And you know why all of that happened? Because that has aura. Today we're here to break down and talk about some of the most devious auras in all of anime. I did a poll recently and I asked you guys what video you wanted to see and with a resounding, I don't know, 50 to 60% of the votes, y'all wanted to see this. You ever have a dude walk up to you and that dude pressure around him is so fire that you just feel like he's important? Not me because I'm a real but I mean, I'm just saying, have you ever been around a dude like that? Because everybody in Bleach can say that they have as soon as they seen Aizen. Now, I'm not going to hold you. During the Soul Society arc, bro, a lot of stuff happened. I mean, my man Ichigo went head to head with Kenpachi. Apparently, he tapped into some power that he wasn't going to have until later in the story to kind of compete with this man Kenpachi. But also, Kenpachi limits himself. So it looked like Ichigo was winning. But in actuality, that version of Kenpachi would and murder that version of Ichigo. That's besides the point. Then he goes on, he punishes Renji, goes and fights Byaki, uses Bankai, but none of that is important because this very same person, Ichigo, went against the guy with aura that had pretty much surpassed all other Soul Reapers around him. Aside of the old nigga Yamamoto, but I mean, that's besides the point because that nigga Genru side different, bro. He got a stick in his stash like Roshi, bro. I'm not gonna hold you. That motherfucker does not have his Zanpakuto in that big ass stick, bro. There is a 40 with an extra clip in there. Now I'm not gonna hold you It's bad enough that this dude Aizen had devious menacing ass aura Made everybody around him shit themselves But he also had subordinates around him too Gen and Tosin This man Gen He got aura And that nigga look blind You know that you the man When you run a nigga with aura So this dude Aizen standing there bro He got these motherfucking glasses on Bro looking like a point Dexter I'm not gonna hold you But next thing you know He went from Urkel To Stefan Urkel Bro stepped in that machine Cause I'm not gonna lie This man Ichigo went to attack him uh, excuse me? Um, everybody, can I get your attention? Uh, what the hell is Captain Oz is doing here? Uh, Oz, are you good, bro? Everything all right? Oh, uh, yeah, Renji. Um, I need you to do me a favor, though, and hand Rukia over. Wait, why? We, we just saved her. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you about two things, okay? One, if you don't hand her over, I'm going to kill you. Two, I'm going to be honest with you. You're going to get Bankai soon? That shit isn't real. You're trash. You're probably not going to get your real Bankai until the last arc of the story. And by that point, none of us really care about you except for women but that's literally because you look attractive i'm gonna be honest you are dog shit like you are the yamsha of the story just want you to know that but what so at this point you know i was talking shit everybody asking about Rukia, this dude Ichigo, he's had enough. He intervenes, he goes to attack him, and then this dude Aizen shows us his true aura for the first time by catching this nigga Ichigo's sword with his bare hands. Bro, I'm not gonna lie, bro. If you try to cut me with a Zanpak toe, something that is sharp enough, powerful enough to kill actual cursed enemies, hollows, niggas that humans can't even see or fathom, and you stop that shit with your bare hands, you got it, bro. I'm gonna keep it a ban. And that is when I knew that this man Aizen had some devious ass aura. So this man Aizen take Rukia after this, bro, and explain to everybody around him that he has broken the limiter. That those four basic fighting styles of a Soul Reaper, he has surpassed them. Snick is literally the one. Then he runs into the big ass captain that looked like a dog, bear. Bro, I'm not gonna hold you. This man Aizen said, if you catch me in a Soul Society with a bear, I help the bear. Use Hado number 90, whatever the f punish this dumb ass. Oh my God. <laughs> Can you please get the f out of my face, man? I, I I don't have any time to play with you. What do you, what do you want me to throw a frisbee or something? Who the hell are you talking to like that, man? I, I don't need no fuck it. Wait, wait, you got a frisbee? Again, did you bring some toys from the Petco? Yeah, please get the dog out of my face. Uh, Captain Eisen, sorry, I, I actually forgot the squeaky toys this time. <laughs> what the what the what the are you good for again anyways listen man if you please just get out of our way i'll go get you a treat okay and i don't know what what, what if giant dogs like what do you want a t-bone or something you literally look like master splinter did to get 80 reps bro you look like master splinter with a fucking hawk suit on shut your ass up wait, hold on you said a treat so this dude used the hot on number 90 smoked his ass so everybody pops up bro then this man eyes open up this portal with a bunch of manos grandes in there and shit 
what I'm saying? This dude eyes and he floating up, about to go over to the whole nother world where the Espada and shit is, bro. Go to Wake Up Moon, though. Next thing you know, this motherfucker, again, like I said, he changed to goddamn Stefan Urkel. Just like that, bro. His whole aura changed, bro. He took the glasses off, slipped his hair back, and this nigga whole accent changed. Hey, man. Hey, can y'all whole ass niggas hear me, man? Hey, listen, man. I fooled all of y'all, okay? Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on y'all still. What the fuck is you talking about, bro? You know what it is, man. It's big Austin in this bitch. I've been a real nigga the whole time, nigga. I've been practicing, you know what I'm saying? With this fake ass point next to ass voice. Nigga, I do algebra, nigga. I'm in the streets, nigga. I make money out here, man. Hey, hey, Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, what's good, cat? Hey, man, show these, these bands, man. Uh, all the bands. Hey, y'all see this money on us, nigga? That's what the fuck I'm talking about, man. We get money out here, man. Break out y'all niggas broke ass, man. man all y'all niggas broke in the social society, man. Captain Yamamoto, yo, man, man. I'm not gonna hold you, bro. Your head shiny as shit, boy. You know what I'm saying? I'm not with you when I see you. Oh my god, when I catch your ass, I'm gonna kill you, nigga. And just like that, bro, Oz in the most devious way left everybody in the soul society flabbergasted. That, my friends, is what I mean when I niggas be having devious ass aura. You know who else has devious ass aura? Miriam from Hunter Hunter. So this man Miriam walk into this room, right? Him, him, Poof, Pito, you know what I'm saying? The big, I forgot his name, I'ma keep it a band. Nigga looking like the Red Hawk and shit. So they walk in there, bro, and they taking over this motherfucking palace, you know what I'm saying? Now we got a fat ass fake Kim Jong-un in there and shit. He confused about what's going on. He must think these niggas is there for entertainment or some shit. You know how rich people be. This fat ass got a handkerchief on and stuff. You know he was about to eat. Well, well, well. Look what we have here. What's good with you, fat ass? Girl, what you was about to eat something? Motherfucker got a handkerchief on, don't he, Pito? <laughs> he do got a handkerchief on. What you about to eat a fucking, what you about to eat a whole cow, you fat? <laughs> Captain, do you want me to dispose of them? Bo Poof, get your zesty ass back, bro. I, I seen you at a Diddy party yesterday. All right, li hey, listen, man. I'm gonna keep it in bed, bro. This is my fucking palace. This is big me. You know what I'm saying? I need all of y'all to get the fuck out of here. Bring it. Ain't no big three, nigga. It's just big me. You've heard my nigga Kendrick, man. But, uh, excuse me, bro. Yo, who are you talking to, bro? This is my palace. What, what are y'all like? Entertainment or some shit? I, I didn't order no comedians or nothing. Look, what's going on, bro? Man, you didn't hear what I say? Hey, get the Oh, oh my god, I'm about to kill this nigga. Bro, you better hope I kill you before the high cholesterol do, bro. I swear to God, because, yo, if I come over there. <sighs> the next thing you know, bro, his aura is so immense, bro. He got the girls on the motherfucking ground shaking and quivering and shit. Girls over there like, please, please help us. This nigga Miriam said one of the most devious things I ever heard in my mother like bro he said think as hard as your little human brains can manage have you ever heard a pig or a cow beg for his life before it's slaughtered and then he murders everybody in there bro bro this dude marry him that's a different type of breed i'm not gonna lie there was so many moments i could have talked about where his aura was immense but i had to talk about this moment right here bro because this man walked into a palace killed a bunch of guards walked straight into kim jong-un mean john smoked this dumb ass in front of all his bitches and then killed his bitches Right after saying a cold ass one liner. Yeah, that's why this dude Miriam's the one, bro. I keep trying to tell y'all. Stop playing with Lil Piccolo, bro. You know who else is really the one, though? And I'm not gonna lie, bro. I seen a lot of people suggesting him in the comments. That nigga Muzan, bro, from Demon Slayer. So this dude Muzan, he different because his aura is so goddamn cold. He be scaring niggas while he look like Michael Jackson. Bro, that nigga is not Muzan, bro. That motherfucker. So all the demons is in this motherfucker, bro, and this dude moves out mad as shit. You know what I'm saying? All these motherfucking demons, they don't f***ed up. Bro, he step in the room, and I ain't never seen this bow down this fast in my whole life, bro. He walked in, opened his mouth one time, said one thing. These niggas instantly started bowing down to this Please, sir, f forgive us. You can talk, bitch. So y'all niggas gonna come in here. Rui got killed, right? You know what I'm saying? And why is it that all the demons in the lower ranks, all y'all niggas is hoes? You know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas get replaced over and over again because y'all niggas is straight bitch. Rui died and y'all want to come in here beg for forgiveness. Niggas need to beg for some fucking heart. Y'all niggas got no heart in this bitch, man. Talking about, but master, put my, shut the fuck up. But, but master, I, I, I just... It's easy for you to say, but, but we... What, no, no, go ahead. Go ahead, say it. Oh, screw, bro. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I'm really sorry. I... And just like that, bro, he smoked the first in front of the rest of them, bro. I don't even know what that is. What is that that he killed him with? Did some fucking dog arm come out of his 
What is that? Man, the only thing y'all want to do is run away and shit. Master, no. I would never run away. I, I promise. I, I'd do anything for you. I, I'll oh, suck oh, your oh, dick. Oh, hold on, bitch. You, you suck a dick. My, 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 my matter of fact, no. Man. Got my face. So this is one of the demon, bro. You know what I'm saying? He's seen two of his friends get killed. You know what I'm saying? This dumb ass, bro. Try to run off. Bro started dipping. I'm not going to lie. He hit burners on Bro, he was hitting the motherfucking dash like he was running from the cops. He hit the race like take K. I'm not gonna hold you. This dude, Muzan, caught him instantly. Took his head off. So this last demon, bro, you know what I'm saying? He begging for his motherfucker. Master, please. Y'all swear to God, I can be useful. You know what I'm saying? I can clean, cook, rub your back on the hard days. You know what I'm saying? I got a PlayStation 5. Oh, hold up. Oh. Oh, we got a PlayStation 5? Yo, yo, you got GTA on that bitch? No, I got 2K. Just like that, bro. He got smoke, bro. Motherfucker talk him out. If you could just give me some of your blood, you know what I'm saying? I, I could acclimate. Man, bro, who the fuck is you? You, you order me to give you blood, bitch? None of that shit matter, bro. Talk him out. You deserve to die. <sighs> shit is insane. So this last nigga, bro, you know what I'm saying? He made it out alive. I ain't gonna lie. He talk him out. Yo, I'm so happy to die by your hand. I'm glad I got to hear all these other demons screaming. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. That a freaky ass dude, respectfully. Because how you in here, you seen all your mans die, and the first thing you thinking of is, oh, please kill me. You on some freaky shit, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Kendrick make them songs about you, bro. I know I keep saying that, but it's a lot of freaky dudes in the world, y'all. No cap. Motherfucker wiped out two seasons of Demon Slayer in, in one scene, bro. <laughs> that shit is out of... Pocket, yo. You know who else is out of pocket though? Sukuna, bro. This man Sukuna is out of pocket because this nigga really just be walking around and he is walking horror, bro. I don't know if there's anybody in anime, at least in the, the newer stuff, that has as much aura as Sukuna, bro. I mean, even in the manga, he got aura, bro. Motherfucker is 1B30 in everybody right now, bro. This man is the one, truthfully, bro. But this dude Sukuna, yo, you know what's so cold about him is like he be sitting in this motherfucking throne, his malevolent shrine and all that. And bro just sitting on a bunch of fucking skulls, bro. Looking unamused. You remember when he just showed up to Shibuya and had everybody there shook? I mean, literally shook, bro. Took over Yuji body and started wilding out. Had this man goddamn Jogo looking like he seen a fucking ghost. Literally, bro. I felt bad for Jogo lame ass. Hey, hey, excuse me. I just want to say, uh, before I get to killing y'all, I always knew that y'all was some hoes, all right? And I just want y'all to know that. You are literally beneath me. But if you lay one hand on me, Jogo, one. Just one hand. I work under y'all little niggas. I swear to God, I wear on everything I love, bro. All you gotta do is land one hit on me, Jogo. One, bro. Uno, bro. You land one hit on me, bro. I got you. I swear to God on everything. Before everything, man. So you telling me all I gotta do is land one hit on you? That's what I'm saying. Just one hit. I'm about to beat your dumb ass up, man. You got me fucked up out here. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. I know I just sounded tough as hell, but I'm scared right now. Yo, this nigga's on my ass. Yo, did this nigga just cut my fucking arms in half? So this dude Sukuna just hopping around from building to building, bro. You can see the aura, bro. Look at him walking in this fucking hallway with his hands in his pockets, bro. Like nothing is happening. Fighting Jogo, calm as shit. Smiling in his face. Jogo doing everything he can, bro. He even shot a big ass cum blast out of his volcano head. Giggity, giggity, crocodile. Like my fucking Squidward and SpongeBob and shit. Jogo go ask Ghetto, hey Ghetto, how, how strong am I, today? you know, in comparison to Sukuna, you know, by fingers and shit? Uh, I'd say uh, maybe eight or nine. Uh, so you saying I'm as strong as eight or nine figure Sukuna? Uh, yeah, I'd say that. N niggas, you lying? I don't know. Am I? Uh, what the fuck? I knew this nigga was gonna be stronger than me, man. This got all fucking lying. So this dude Jogo, he comes surfing in on lava, bro, like he in rocket power and shit. Bro, I'm not gonna lie, bro, this shit is embarrassing. He got this man Sukuna just jumping around buildings, beating the shit out of him. He don't up in the same building where, where Agent Smith and, and motherfucking Morpheus and them was. So he grabbed this dude Jogo face, bro, and stiff on this dude all the way through the ground. I mean, he literally pushed this dude through mad buildings. Had this dude seeing every floor, bro. That man Jogo done seen more goddamn copiers and fax machines than FedEx, bro. I'ma keep it a band. Then by the time they got to the bottom, this dude Jogo motherfucking jaw is leaning. God damn. Yo, man, I told you why to stop playing with me, man. Uh, yo, pick your jaw up, bro. You tell me pick my Y'all up, nigga, you knocked it off. Motherfucker, you hit hard, man. Mike Tyson? Man, shut your soft ass up, man. Get up and fight. Man, I got something for your ass. I swear to God, I'm about to hit you with a Dragon Ball Z move. Dragon Ball Z? Nigga, what the f You think you Goku or some shit? So this dude, Jogo, jump in the air, bro. And he's, and you just see this big ass, like, what looks looks to be an inferno behind him, bro. I mean, he looked like he about to hit him with cruel sun, like, Escanar or some 
So he dropped this big flaming ball down, bro, looking like a mini sun. And I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. That joint didn't do nothing, bro. Look at this dude suking the sitting pretzel style. Hey, ho ass, bro, why don't you use your domain? That man Jogo face looked terrified. Look at his face. He look how unsure he is of himself right now. I don't know if it's because he just smelt a little bit of his own breath. You know that nigga got black teeth? Oh, that nigga is terrified of suking him. He don't look too confident right now. I'm gonna keep it a band. So this dude talk him out. Man, man, I can't use my domain, man. Ever since I fought that nigga Gojo, man, I knew I was a bitch. You know what I'm saying? He f my s up, yeah? Oh, that's crazy. So, so yo, so your lame man scared of Gojo. Man, I'm a oh my god, I can't wait to get my hands on that. I'ma kill that or everything I love, bro. So this dude shooting though, he uses this big ass flaming bow, bro, out of nowhere. This man, Drogo, like, fuck it, nigga, I'm about to shoot my shit too, nigga. You ain't the only one with a strap, nigga. So we shoot this motherfucking bow, bro, and I'm not gonna lie, bro, he put Drogo out of his misery, bro. Ended that dude whole life, keep it a band. Damn. Yo, Drogo, you good? Man, my good, guys, somebody help me. Bro, ain't nobody helping your ass, bro. You know what I'm saying? You need to help yourself. Keep it a thousand. Should've used your domain, lame ass. But you know why the domain wouldn't work? Because that Sukuna has immense aura, bro. Some of the most aura I've ever seen in anime, period. A real rap. Well, let that shit happen to me, though. Oh, God.